According to a report on the website Al Khalij Online, a member of Fatah's Central Committee revealed on April 20th that heavy Arab pressure was being applied to the Palestinian Authority leadership with regards to U.S. President Donald Trump's Mideast peace plan, the so-called Deal of the Century, that the White House is expected to unveil in June. The official stated that Saudi Arabia was leading the campaign, the report said. The source was quoted as saying, There are Arab countries, chief among them Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Egypt, that express great interest in the American deal and are employing every available means, including political and financial pressure, to assure that the Palestinians accept the plan despite the risks it involves for the Palestinian cause. Khalaf Ahmad al-Habtur, a tycoon from the UAE, called on the Gulf states to seek peace and cooperation with Israel, economically and scientifically, as well as in agriculture and defense. Al-Habtur posted a video on Twitter calling on the Gulf states to declare peace and with Israel while underscoring what the biggest enemy is Iran and not Israel. Israel is not an enemy. Cooperation with it will benefit everyone, he stated. Sri Lankan officials failed to heed warnings from intelligence agencies about the threat of an attack by a domestic radical Muslim group that officials blame for Easter Sunday bombings that killed more than 200 people, the country's health minister said Monday. The coordination bombings that ripped through churches and luxury hotels were carried out by seven suicide bombers from a terrorist group named National Thaufiq Jamath, health minister Rajitha Senaratene said. International intelligence agencies warned of the attack several times starting April 4th, Senaratne said. Outside a synagogue in the London neighborhood of Stamford Hill, which hosts the largest Hasidic community in Europe, a visibly ultra-Orthodox man on Monday was pursued by a man holding a rod, apparently in order to commit an anti-Semitic assault. The Jewish Community Council of North London tweeted the video of the assault and said, Crime in the community continues to increase. This is just one of many shocking incidents today, which have occurred in the past few months. We appeal to at MPS Hackney, at MPS Stamford Hill, to act now and reassure the community with fast responses and extra patrols.